Hey guys, welcome to my IGTV. Today, before I start off this video, I just want to give a huge shout out of recognition to our frontline healthcare workers who are working sweat, blood, and tears during this time to assist those who have been affected by COVID or anyone else who's going through any other medical issues. And a big thank you to anybody else who is helping, volunteering. We appreciate every single thing that you're doing for us. So big thank you to everyone for that. I hope that everybody is staying safe and staying occupied. So this video is different from my regular IGTV videos, as you probably noticed. And I'm extremely excited to be doing this one today because I have partnered up with one of my favorite dance brands. So I'm super excited today to be doing an unbox and review for you guys from the brand Hermes Dance. If you haven't heard of Hermes, it is basically just a dancewear brand. That they have shoes, bodysuits, male and female wear, and so just a little shenanigan like that. For those of you who are interested, today I'm going to be unboxing a pair of shoes that they were ever so kind enough to send me, and we're going to be looking at those a little bit today. I'll be reviewing them. I'll give you guys tips on how I fit my shoes personally for myself. So without further ado, let's open these shoes and see what we get. Okay, so this is the box that they came in. So I have ordered from Hermes before. Um, I do have a lot of shoes from there because I didn't know how to fit them properly, but that we'll get to that in a little bit. But from when I have ordered from them in the past, it didn't come in a box, it just came in a bag, which is fine. But I do like the new packaging, which does come in a box because I feel like it's just a little bit more secure and safe to protect your shoes if anything was to happen during the shipment process. So that's really nice. I do appreciate that. So now we're just going to open this box and see what's inside. The shoes are nicely folded inside this little bag that you do get. I feel like with most shoes that you get, you do get a bag just to be able to have something to put it in when you do go social dancing. I love this. They always give you like these little stickers. I don't know if you want to put them on anything that you have, but now I have like 20 of these stickers. Yeah, this is just like the little bag. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it just has two straps. It's kind of like you can wear it like a backpack or just throw it over your shoulders. And then it just tightens at the top. And you go, ready to go social dance, so. Oh, that's so nice. They sent me also it's these little coverings that you can put over your shoes um, just to keep the heel from breaking, which is nice. They gave me um, this little brush here, which is really great, you can see. It has um, these bristles on the bottom. And basically what this is for is when you dance frequently in the same shoes, the suede part of the shoe um, gets super smooth on the bottom just from doing a bunch of spins, bunch of slides, bunch of turns and stuff like that. And so it can become kind of dangerous because it's way easier to slip when you are dancing because the bottom is super smooth. So that's where the brush comes in handy and it just brings that roughness back for optimal grip on the floor that you're dancing on. So these are the shoes. These are a new sort of design that they came out with. These are called the Milanio Champagne Pro. I actually have the Milanio Champagne, I think, but not the Pro version. So I'm interested to see how I feel about these. They come in plastic, just, you know, everything's nice and secure. So these are what the shoes look like outside of the packaging. <laughs> These are definitely a go-to for me. I do have the same shoe, not the pro version in this color. It goes with absolutely any outfit that you want, so that's why I really like it. The sparkles on this are super prominent, and if you know me, you know I'm a glitter girl. I love anything with sparkles and anything with glitter. They have this adjustable ankle strap, which most shoes do, so you can wrap it around your foot. These ones have the enhanced gel insoles here. It's super nice and firm, and it's a little bit cushiony right here, so you have like comfort for your foot. I got the 3.5 inch heel. They do go up to four inches if you are interested in that, and they do go lower, so. My feet are a 7.5 street shoe. The shoes that I purchased myself, I got those in a 36. The ones that they sent me, I requested to get a size down. And now this is the part where we get into my little backstory about trying to find my shoe sizes. So I have a lot of pairs of shoes. And the reason I have a lot of pairs of shoes is because, like I said, I'm a street shoe 7.5. And I didn't really realize that you're supposed to size down anyways for these types of dance shoes. And so I bought a pair that were... I believe a 7.5 and I thought that they fit and I got super excited so I ordered a bunch more in that size. 
which was very incorrect because now I have a whole bunch of shoes that I can't actually wear because they don't fit. The reason that they don't fit is because these shoes are made of leather. When you dance, your feet sweat and they stretch. No one told me they stretched. So therefore now I have about four or five pairs of shoes that don't fit me. So anyways, I finally had gotten the right mind. I ordered down to a seven. I found that it actually, it fit a lot better. The more that I danced in them, I got a little bit weary again, just because it was kind of slipping, but like, you know, still fit fine, but wasn't like just at that peak point yet. It wasn't until I went to the Reno Latin Dance Fest where there was, I believe it was a G Franco booth set up. It was kind of great because there were people there that could help me fit my shoes. And so I was gonna purchase a pair I found these shoes and I tried them on in a seven and they were kind of tight you know I was like oh these fit really well and then I was like why not just try the size even down so 6.5 and I put those on and I was like well oh my god they go on my feet I wasn't expecting them to even fit on my feet however they did so then I was forced with this decision to pick either a 7 or a 6.5 and I ended up going with the 6.5 I've never been happier with how a shoe has hugged and fit my foot so that is the size that I gravitate towards now so a little disclaimer the shoe was a bitch to break in. You may think that you made the wrong decision, but in my opinion, it is way better, way more comfortable after you have broken them in. It does take about, I would say, three to four times of wearing them before they are finally comfortable. You will get blisters, you will get marks, you will get scratches, you will think that they don't fit. But like I said, because the shoes are made of leather, they really do stretch. And after you've been dancing in them for a while, they mold to your feet. Feet. I do though just want to point out that not all shoe brands are the same with sizing so if you're a 7 in X brand you're not going to necessarily be a 7 in Y brand so always just be careful um, and check for a sizing chart on the website measure your feet just make sure that it always corresponds with that specific website to show you guys kind of what I mean I'm going to show you the shoes up close and kind of talk about them there so on my right foot, I'm wearing the size 36s that I purchased myself from Hermes, and on my left foot, I'm wearing the size 35s that they sent me. So these are my 36s, and I do like how they fit. The 35s are pretty similar, but they're definitely a little more hugging to my foot. Notice the amount of room when I point my toes in my 35s versus my 36s. Keep in mind that I haven't broken in the 35s yet, so it will change. As you can see, the newer ones are obviously tighter because I haven't danced in them, but just comparing and contrasting. I can already tell that they're going to be a little bit more form-fitting to my foot. That's not to say I do like dancing in the bigger ones. I don't find them super uncomfortable. I just really like it when a shoe hugs my foot and it feels just like it's meant to be there. But I still dance in the other ones and it's completely fine. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily gonna be a bad decision to get that one size down instead of that one and a half sizes down. Another reason why Hermes is really great is also because the price range is not super heavy on your pocket, which is really nice because a lot of these shoes are very expensive. So they're really great about that. They also tend to have like a lot of sales that go on. So always check out for those. Anyways, yeah, that's my little video for today. I just wanted to lay out some tips, show you guys the shoes, get a feel for what they look like on and just tell you a little bit about the brand. These are definitely one of my go-tos when I'm looking for a pair of new shoes or just something simple and something that's affordable so it's really great for that. They are a super great brand. They're based in Barcelona. They're really kind for sending me a pair of shoes so I really am grateful for that. Thank you so much Aramis for sending me these. I'm very excited to get to dance in them and get back to dancing in general. I know a lot of us dancers out there are really struggling with the isolation and not being able to do what we love but we can support the companies that we love so if you are interested in purchasing a pair of shoes i will link their website and their instagram tag right here definitely worth the investment if you're looking for a new pair of shoes super breathable made of 100 percent leather the sparkles are really great on them i find that the shoes are very good quality and really great for the price range and yeah so again i just want to say a big thank you to Armas for sending me these pair of shoes to try on for you guys i give them two thumbs up I hope everyone is hanging in there and I'll see you on the dance floor hopefully soon.